Hello friends, James Stevenson back with a fresh video about those California vehicle registration numbers published by the California uh, Car Dealers Association last week. I made a bunch of charts about that and Elon Musk saw one of them and commented on it. Well, which chart and what did he say? You're going to find out over the course of this video. After I check in with my co-host Loki, as I usually do, you can see his ears perking up over there. Before sharing my desktop with you, I'll just walk you through a few of the related tweets. The one that I sent this morning was, here's a nutty fact, to accompany the chart, over the same time period Tesla registrations in California have increased by more than 50,000 units. Half the competing brands didn't even grow their EV sales by 1,000 units. Uh, so I'm retweeting myself here, which is something I try not to do lots of, but I'll click through here and I'll just scroll to the top and then I'll scroll back down again. So yesterday, 23 hours ago, I tweeted the uh, California New Car Dealers Association reported the top 12 selling battery electric vehicles in California so far this year. Number one and number two are the Tesla Model Y, Tesla Model 3, probably no surprise to you if you've been in my audience for very long. I didn't give the numbers here uh, because I have a chart right below them, but this is just the ranking. So the Tesla Model X comes in at number eight and the Tesla Model S comes in at number 12. Well, that's every vehicle Tesla makes, right? They all made the top 12. Uh, here's what the data looks like totaled by brand. So this is my tree map chart uh, of the top 12 EVs registered in California so far this year, Tesla, accounts for 183,000 of them, and the closest competitor accounts for 15,000. That is, by my math, more than an order of magnitude lead for Tesla, but the purpose of the chart is to just show you the relative magnitude for yourself, right? Uh, people who um, understand and study graphic visualizations will tell you that there's no better way to present data than as rectangles. People get rectangles. Uh, when you ask them later after they've seen a chart to recall the relative magnitudes, they do a better job if they've seen a visualization composed of rectangles than if they saw a chart that was curved, right? Because pie charts can be deceptive sometimes. I made a video about that uh, separately. But uh, Elon Musk saw that chart and said, I guess we're doing okay. <laughs> with, with his usual uh, degree of understatement, uh, Elon says, I guess we're doing okay. Yeah, you're doing fine, Elon. Uh, doing okay, Tesla. Uh, then I, I wanted to note uh, and share a, f a couple more charts about the same data below that I haven't shared previously. Uh, the tree map excludes all EV models outside the top 12, but when all EVs registered in California are included, Tesla is still selling greater than 10 times more units and growing unit sales year over year more than five times faster than the nearest competitor while quote-unquote losing EV market share. Uh, so if you hear people talking about Tesla losing EV market share, you can be sure uh, they either don't know what they're talking about or they do know what they're talking about and they're trying to mislead you. Uh, here's this chart. Yeah. So uh, Tesla's over here. The blue bars are last year's sales totals. The gray bars are this year's subtotals uh, or totals for each of these uh, brands shown along the bottom axis here. So I have them sorted in order of growth year over year. So from right to left, you can see some of these brands over here are down year over year. They're actually selling fewer vehicles so far this year than they sold uh, in the prior year, same time frame. And I chased that with a note. I need to find the next chart in the thread. I sorted the brands in the chart above in order of year-over-year -year EV registration growth as on this chart, where it kind of makes more sense. Uh, don't be fooled into believing competitors are growing faster than Tesla 
just because their year-over-year -year percentage increase from their own tiny base is larger. So uh, here's those companies that are selling fewer vehicles this year than they sold last year. Here's Tesla. Over 50,000. Uh, as I mentioned, half of Tesla's competitors aren't even selling 1,000 more EVs this year than they sold last year. And if you want to know how I get to half, uh, dwell uh, or contemplate what other means. So if other was up by 1,388, does that count as competitors who have increased their sales by more than 1,000? Uh, it does not, because so many competitors have been lumped together in this bucket. You know, Vinfast and Lucid and whoever else definitely didn't sell 1,000 vehicles in California so far this year. They're all combined together in this group. So, there you go. Uh, Tesla's growth is... <laughs> so, so not only is Tesla selling way more vehicles than everybody else is, they are also extending their lead uh, by more than anybody else can hope to try to narrow the gap by. Like, Chevrolet is the closest. Tesla's up 51,000 almost. Chevy's up less than 10,000. So Tesla has extended its lead above Chevy EV sales in California by more than 40,000 vehicles. And you can see it on the chart here, right? So the distance from this blue bar to this blue bar is 40,000 less vehicles than the distance from this gray bar to this gray bar, right? Tesla is just pouring it on uh, with huge year-over-year -year growth. Don't let anybody uh, convince you that a drop in California EV market share means anything in isolation. And that's my video for today, unless Loki has anything to add. Nope, he's just going to keep napping. But if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to click the like button. It's free to click the like button, so, you know, it's your life. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it does help other people find this video. Uh, Elon Musk thought these were, you know, pretty good charts, so maybe other people would like to see them as well. And uh, thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon or on X or by joining my YouTube channel, as my executive producers Kathy Kitchler and RebellionAire.com did, and I'll see you in the next one.